What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of the Ender Games, uh, we're going to be checking out Wasted World. This is a game that's up for 20 bucks right now on Steam. It's apparently you're in a post-apocalyptic junkyard. The goal of the game is effectively to set up Factorio style production all throughout that area and start mashing out your own steel and your own bricks and everything else. Uh, I assume that there's going to be some combat of some kind because I've taken a brief look at the game prior to this just to prep myself and make sure all the settings were good before we do our first impression series, and there are weapons that are craftable and things like that, so I assume we're going to be doing some fighting as well. Let's go ahead and start a new game, and we'll spend about 30 minutes with it, and we'll decide if this is a game that you wanted to add to your wish list, or if it's something you would rather pass on. Alright, so here we are outside of our bunker. Uh, the first thing the game wants us to do is to gather up some junk stone, some junk wood, some junky iron, and then apparently also five trash bags. So there's trash bags laying around all over the place right here. So this should be like easy peasy. So we'll just take our handy dandy pickaxe. We'll mash out a couple of trash bags, which it thinks we are done with now. There's also some corrugated steel over here. I think I'll probably go ahead and knock that on out as well. Corrugated steel, very, very common thing throughout pretty much everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. You will find something that is either made out of corrugated steel or has like a corrugated steel roof. I don't know what it is about corrugated steel. It just, it profligates, bro. It gets all over the place. There's, there's a giant field of it, just like full of it right next to my house. They use it for like building all kinds of stuff out there. Like the homeless population is just like a big pile of junk, just like in the middle of a field. I don't know if anybody owns the field. It's next to the train track, so I don't know if it's like municipal or somebody owns it. But there's like a big like six or seven acre field down the street from my house that like, doesn't have any upkeep like there's nothing it's just an empty field full of rocks and like trash and bushes and stuff and there's a ton of corrugated steel out there and like every like six months or so I feel like there's a rotation of the homeless folks where I live like they'll get run off from here by the police and go somewhere else and then they'll just come back like every three or four months to here and then they hang out for like a month and during the month they live there they build like little cities out there out of all the corrugated steel and stuff I don't know man no idea it's a weird world to live in nowadays. Let's continue gathering. Oh, it wants me, apparently I picked up all the stuff that I was supposed to pick up. Alright, well it wants me to make a workbench, and that's right here, so we can do a workbench. Uh, some of the icons in this game could definitely use some work. For a $20 game, I definitely expect, like, you could pick up, like, Stardew Valley for $20. And so, for example, if you see, like, right here along the edges of, like, all of these little PNG transparency icons that are supposed to be representing wood and I, whatnot, you really, really should not have white dot outlines on those. Those should be photo cropped, like... A little bit closer like I could probably Photoshop these out in like five ten minutes like everything here pretty easily just zoom in done so anyways uh, this is the kind of thing on a $20 game that definitely should not exist if you got room to charge 20 bucks you got room to have good icons uh, let's see here let's go with a workbench right there all right so this is gonna give us access to hammers and spades and it looks like we can also get some pickaxes we can open trash bags though which is like the important part because these trash bags they're gonna give us like advanced materials that we couldn't get otherwise and so if we just mash that out right there we've got cloth we've got some junk glass there we go and we are gonna have to like refine this stuff it's not gonna be immediately useful to us in its current state so it looks like we got plastic we got iron we got glass and we got fabric Sounds good. I'm going to drag all this stuff out of my hotbar real quick. I don't think it needs to be there. Uh, we do have an energy bar. It's going to be this blue bar right here that you want to keep an eye on. And when it runs out, I'm not exactly sure what happens because I always go back to the bunker and sleep before that happens. But, like, I assume something bad happens if you get to that point and you have used up all your energy. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, I'm just going to clean this area, in all honesty. We need, like, lots and lots of building space, because we're going to be building a lot of things. And so if we can just get this cleared out in front of the bunkers so that we have a nice little safe space over on this side, I think that would make me a mighty... Ha is that a tire, or did we get... Is the symbol for rubber a tire? I don't know. Let's continue until we're out of energy, shall we? All right, so I ran out of energy. We're going to go to the bunker, and we're going to save, and we're going to relax. We'll get our health back, and we'll get our energy back. And then there's a couple of tasks it wants us to do for the tutorial. It wants us to open our inventory, which you guys have already seen, which is the I key. There you go. Good enough. Uh, apparently, we have a tire right there, I guess. Um, the other thing that we can open up is we can go to the map, which is actually kind of surprisingly huge. Uh, we are up here right now, and the map is pretty gargantuan in this game. I don't know exactly what content is all held and entailed in all of these outlying areas, but from the initial look, the game is 
pretty big from what I can tell. It'll take you a minute to run all the way down to here and go through this area, so it looks like there's going to be plenty of areas for exploration, and I assume as you get further on in, there's going to be like special resources that you can only get from like the furthest corners of the Empire, as it were. I'm going to call this the Empire from right now. I'm, you know, I'm smacking rocks with a blunt implement, but one day it will be, it, trust me, one day it will be an Empire, all right? Uh, we can also open up the research tab, which is over here, but we don't really have any mineral data or anything else like that, so until we can get our research going, we're going to have to wait and see. So as you can see, there's more than meets the eye to this game. On, like, one level, it's clearly a low-poly game that's using, like, assets from the Unity store and stuff like that, but they actually seem to have it arranged in such a way that there is, like, a depth of content here that you're going to be able to access. And so anyways, it's, it's kind of one of those interesting things, like, lately that there are a lot of games coming out that have like these rough edges, but I do think that there's like a good idea in there. It just really comes down to a level of tolerance that a player has to get to that level of interest in the game versus the amount of money that they paid, you know? Continue whacking away on this. There we go. Grab some logs over here. And like, I think that what we're going to probably want to do next is build a... So can I make a compactor? Where's the compactor at? There's a compactor that we can get around. Yeah, manual crusher. There we go. I would like to crush innate. Uh, can we rotate? Yeah, let's rotate. We'll put that right there. And we have a manual crushinator. So apparently this will turn things into crushed versions of their previous versions. I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing. I honestly have no clue for what reason we would want to crush stuff. I was thinking that maybe our trash compactor would create like some of the cubes that we need in order to make some of the stuff from our recipe list up here. So if you look, in order to make a hammer, we need wood and we need steel. For that, we need wood and we need steel. We haven't found any steel yet, so I was assuming we probably had to craft that ourselves, especially assuming that the tier two pickaxe requires like a block of plastic right there. And like, we have plastics, but I assume there's gonna be some level or some type of refinement process that gets this done. So let's go through the list here. We have a makeshift articulated arm. Ah, uh, it's gonna grab things off of conveyor belts, gotcha. Okay, we've got a bed over here, we've got a camp bed. We also have a water collector, can't really do anything with that just yet. We've got the research station, which I think is gonna allow us to analyze things. No, an analyzing station is gonna allow us to analyze things. Okay, and then maybe the research station is how we actually allot and be like, hey, I want you to work on this. I don't know. Now we've got a makeshift chest over here. Apparently it's got storage slots. We've got a chest. We've got a composter. Okay, so we put wood in there, and I assume that it's going to produce some kind of, like... We're more than likely going to get some amount of, like, fertilizer out of it or something. We just did the manual crusher. There's a campfire right here. Maybe we can do something with the campfire. Maybe. Let's put it right there. What is this? Ah, it does. Okay, so now we've kind of laid eyes on what is, there we go, oh, and it crafts at its own rate. Okay, so having multiple crushers is probably a good idea. Do I have enough stuff for a crusher over here? Oh, I used my iron. I used my iron. Okay, so we're gonna need some more junk iron in order to get this going. But I have found the path, which is what I was really dearly looking for. Um, I'm just gonna keep clearing out space because I've got a sneaking suspicion that a lot of this stuff is going to end up being very, very, very geographically intense. I was wondering what the campfire was for, because, like, I, so far I haven't seen, like, a hunger meter or anything. And so I thought to myself, like, we're not going to be making water or food, as far as I can tell from the time that I've spent with the game so far. So, like, that's got to be useful for, for something related to burning. What is that? Just, like, rebar sticking out of concrete right there? We're not going to have the energy to get that done. Uh, with this right here, are you almost done? It is almost done. Looks like we're going to have six of these little powdered irons over here by the time... Actually, pull those out. I'm going to save those so that we can make another crusher or two, I think. That's cool, though. We figured out at least some of the process. And so we've got, like, what? Where's... There we go. And so... Oh, it takes three of them to get one of those. All right, good to know. I'm going to go take a nap real fast because I think we are super out of energy right now. I don't know if we're going to be attacked by anything. That's a piece of information that I'm not super privy to. I don't know if we're going to have to do any level of, like, base defense or fighting or anything. Uh, this looks like it's just concrete. I think it might be. I'll check the inventory in just a second to see what we've picked up here. It looks like it's just... Yeah, it's junk stone. All right. 
Do we make like crush stone inside the crushinator? Oh, there's our iron right there. I don't know what we can do with the iron so far. Uh, let's see here. We got crushed glass, fabric, copper, aluminum, organics. Uh, it does look like we're able to crush up steel. We do have crushed stone. Okay. Does that stone work right there? Huh. Alright. Well, I'm sure there's something like metal laying around that we can just get straight like steel from or something. There we go. Grab a little bit more of that so we can make some more crushers. Alright, so far I feel like we've done a pretty good job being the janitorial staff of this generalized area. I've cleaned out a lot of this space, so it's looking good. I think we're going to have access to a lot of these things. i got 15 trash bags, so let's go ahead and take care of those real quick, just to see what we're going to end up with, because I find that the trash bags are actually a really easy way to get our hands on a bunch of junk iron whenever we need it. Uh, if we can make another manual crusher, I definitely would like that. I, I think we're probably going to need at least three or four of these, uh, so that we can be effectively upgrading the tier of multiple things simultaneously. Uh, we've got, where's the, there was crushed organic, wasn't there? Yeah, let's crush up all our organics too. We'll get that done. I'd like to get this stuff kind of like rolling towards, oh cool, I've got enough to make like a few more of these actually. Good. Okay. Yeah, put those down right there. There you go. Perfect. And then this one right here will go right there. Very, very nice. All right, so all of our crushers are ready to rock. If I could have crushed fabric, that would be great. And then over here, if I could have junk aluminum, that would uh, that's plastic right there. Do I have aluminums? I don't have a lot of aluminium, all right? Well, we got some. Uh, we are now officially crushinating. I can also make another couple campfires, I guess, uh, just so we can purify multiple things at once. There we go. We'll put that in right there. We'll try to keep an eye on all this stuff. I'm not really a big automation guy, so if you're expecting me to put in all kinds of cool things... Uh, that are going to be like crafty and, and making things work better. Do I have any steel around? Is that steel right there? Oh, we do. If I could find a bit more steel, we could actually make the upgraded pickaxe, which might help out quite a bit. As of right now, I'm kind of curious why the game has a stamina system. Just a thought, but at the moment, the stamina system seems to purely exist in order to force the player to go back and save his game every small amount of time. As of yet... I don't think the stamina system has really come to the forefront and been like, I am useful in this, this, and this way. Um, I was expecting that maybe we'd be attacked or something, because like if we get attacked, like a base, that means that the stamina is sort of a hard limiter on how much activity you can accomplish in a given day. And in my opinion, that would be kind of a good thing. It would, it would lend sort of a sense of urgency to the game. What's that going to give me? More steel? Oh, the barrels are steel. Very nice. So it seems like steel is like these two little things right here. And that's good because we do actually need steel. So I'm going to keep smacking and whacking and grabbing steel real fast. I don't know how much steel it's going to take us in order to purify it and turn it into like actual steel. But hey, I think we've picked up quite a bit right now. Yeah, I've got 18 steel at the moment. So we'll powder this up. And if we can get this powdered down, we can turn it into the bricks that we need. And then the bricks will produce our other goodies. So there's our aluminum right there. Where was our steel at? Yeah, make the crushed steel. Oh, really? It's a one-for-one one exchange on steel. Well, that is very, very nice. I actually like that quite a bit. Uh, we are still crushing stone over here. And so that's going to be done in just a second. I don't know what other things I can purify over here. We got crushed tire, iron glass. It looks like we don't make fabric over here. So there's going to be some kind of loom or something that makes our fabric for us. But the crushed steel... That's what I care about next, but we'll do the aluminum for right now, just so that we have a little bit of it. Like, I just don't want these things to be sitting down here idle. Looks like I didn't crush up any of my glass or anything. Although we do have plastic, so we'll take that right there. There's our stone. And then what I would like to see as well is it would be nice if you could just drag and drop the resource into the manual crusher and it just automatically does it. Like, you don't need to match it up. So, like, if I wanted to, you know, just put wood in there, it would just automatically start grinding up the wood. Or, like, if I drag the organic over there, it would auto-swap the recipe, basically. Um, I think that would be a nice little feature. So, we already got our crushed fabrics over here. We should be able to make that into something. Uh, we do have an oven, and that takes 40 stone in order to make. Let's space that out and, like, yeah, let's try out the oven. What does the oven do by comparison to some of the other things that we have around? I'm going to put the oven in, like, right here. 
Is it just a faster version of the campfire? Oh, it is. It's an accelerated version of the campfire as far as I can see. Okay, so we might want to start like putting some effort into into making furnaces instead of making some of the other stuff. All right, good to know. Good to know. Unfortunately, right now mining mining the concrete takes forever, and so I've sort of been like avoiding it. Not like purposefully, but just like in the corner of my mind being like, "Well, it takes me forever and like all of my energy to mine concrete." So like, I don't really want to mine concrete right now. If we could just skip that part of the process, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a few more resources while we wait for stuff to cook. A new pickaxe, though, I think would be, like, monumental and would make this go a lot faster, especially if it's damaged like, double what we have previously. All right, well, our steel is ready to go. So we should be in the market for some new upgrades pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and we'll move all the stone out of the output slot. We need one more stone before we can get ourselves into another furnace. Because look how much faster it does the work. It just does the work quicker. You know what I mean? Like, why mess around? Ooh, two steel. Yeah, let me take that out of there. Come on, let me get it. Let me get that right there. There we go. All right, so now we go back up to the workbench, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can make ourselves a new pickaxe. There we go. Now we're moving. Now we're cooking with fire. There we go. I'm going to give you the Final Fantasy Revelry, because we got a new pickaxe. Ba -ba 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 yeah, it looks good. I'm going to throw that down there. I am back on Final Fantasy XIV, by the way. I told myself I would never go back. I told myself that I was done with MMOs forever and then promptly failed at my task. This is what it is. My best friend was like, hey, I just resubbed to Final Fantasy XIV. You remember all the good times we used to have? You want to come back and have more good times? And because I can't say no, I didn't say no. So I'm back on there. I'm on Lamia server. You'd probably recognize my username, honestly. If you uh, see me around, feel free to shoot me a whisper. I'm going to leave it like a little bit of a puzzle if you're on the Lamia server. You know, you might see me around. I tend to, I tend to kick it around uh, Limsa Lominsa, round about that way. Just sort of hanging out next to the Aetherite, doing what it does. Made a new character to start over from scratch with. By the way, this pickaxe is absolutely exquisite. This thing is like the Cadillac of pickaxes right now. I am very, very happy with its personal performance. This thing is doing miraculous work at the moment. Like, it has sped up the process considerably, which was the one main thing that was actually kind of bothering me, is just how long it was taking me to mine various things. It was taking an ungodly amount of time in order to mine, like, some of the larger set pieces, like walls and whatnot. And so I was just like, let's not do... Oh, really? Those walls are not destructible. That's disappointing. I was hoping they were kind of destroyed. Like, I was hoping that this entire map would be made in such a way that the player would be allowed to make it in their own image. But it looks like the walls are actually a fixture over here. That's cool. We can still use that. I mean, that means that like we can use this area, like only put furnaces inside of here uh, and stuff like that, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, continue just smacking away. Thank you. Alright, so having uh, landed here, I I'm sure there's a number of things that need to be crushinated that are inside of my inventory right now. Uh, as far as crushed organic goes, it looks like we can throw wood inside of there, so that's good. This crusher right here, we've still got organic, so I can throw those in there just to kind of keep it consistent. We can throw the steel in there to get that done. And then did I grab the wrong... Wait, what? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I don't have any more fabric it looks like so maybe we'll go with glass I think I've got a bit of glass that I can crush up for right now not like a ton I would like to see some sound effects added to the game as well like these things having kind of like a noise you know as you get further or closer together or like when you light stuff on fire like from down here uh, you would get some kind of like you know burning sound like a campfire crackling popping all of those fun noises. Uh, the game does seem to be missing a few, like, kind of audio contextual clues uh, from its from its various reaches. And so, you know, I'm going to point it out in the video for right now. It's kind of a curious game because it looks like there's a lot of stuff we can do in here. It, it does. It looks like there's a lot of content in here. And so it makes my earlier comment about $20 maybe seem a little bit idiosyncratic. I'm not sure. 
Uh, it kind of depends, you know, because there's definite like asset store being stuff being used for this game uh, here and there for sure. And and so it, it becomes a tough question. Like, I do think twenty dollars is probably too high of a price point for this game. But um, I don't know. I feel like I recognize the pickaxe animation from a different game. And like the the over the shoulder holding anime, like kind of I don't know. I, I feel like I, I recognize the animation from this game, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I'm like way off. Sometimes our health bars are not showing up on some of these things that we're mining too. Oh wow, that gave me a bunch of stone. That's good because I want a few more furnaces so I can get rid of those campfires. Those campfires are just like trash furnaces. So, all right, so we should probably like decide what our next goal is now that we've done the pickaxe. I do need to bust open, I do need to, I need to bust open a few more of those, so that's not a bad idea. Uh, I think a backpack or something would actually be a really, really smart plan. Uh, either that or some kind of storage medium that we could put together. So I guess if I have a crate, oh, you can open crates too, so there's crates around. Alright, well, that's good to know. We do have storage boxes, I can make makeshift chests. They are kind of pricey? And we get 30 slots out of that right there. Maybe if we make the crushed plastic, things will work out a little bit better. Um, I do have the organics right there. Where's crushed plastic at? There it is. Um, I think that they could do a better job with these menus right here, too, and sort of, like, implying what they do. Uh, my suggestion would instead be maybe shrink the picture down slightly, offset it slightly, and then put like a picture of like the base material that goes in there just for quick eyeballing. It's either that or like I said earlier, you can drag and drop anything you want into this slot right here and it just auto makes, you know, whatever the output is for that stack. Uh, I think it would streamline the game. I think it would make things simpler. Uh, I think it's a good idea in all honesty. I'm gonna let that crush right there. What are we crushing over here? Steel, keep on crushing. You just keep on a crushing it, my dude. Keep on a crushing it, my guy. There we go. So we've got 55 right there. Let's go. You know, I gotta I gotta cook up some stone so I can make some more furnaces. Oh, I gotta crush the stone first though. Oh no, that's gonna take forever, dude. I got like a hundred stone to crush up here. I have so much stone to crush. Alright. So we've gotten some more things. I don't know if I can crush a tire. Oh, I can crush a tire. I actually honestly did not expect to be able to crush an eight attire. Uh, we do need composters. Uh, I do think a composter is a really, really good idea. I don't know where I want to put the composter at. I'll probably line them up along these walls back here. But the composter seems to really, really, really want crushed organic, which is ultimately going to give us fertilizer. And it looks like it completes that process pretty quickly. I assume that there's going to be some kind of farm or something in here we can make if we have fertilizer. So in order to make a planter... Oh, or we can make a stone planter if we got enough stone left around. I guess we can maybe grow plants or something? Hmm. Might be worth looking into. And we've got a lot of this stuff done right now. If we can get some junk steel and some junk wood, though, it looks like we'll be able to mash out some kind of building bench that maybe makes weapons or items or something. And we might possibly be able to go out and adventure a little bit more. As I was wandering, it looks like I found something down here. Uh, it looks like... I can dump resources into this to create some kind of like large base. Uh, so if I can get 200 stone and 50 steel together, we can build the foundation. So it looks like there are little objectives and things that are hidden around. Uh, that doesn't appear to be any workbench. I checked the inventory. That doesn't appear to be any workbench that I can make for myself. So that's just one that's there in the environment that apparently allows us to maybe revitalize or rebuild sort of like civilization a little bit should we want to. Civilization, I'll stay right here. Let's crush some plastic, shall we? I still don't know how to crush my fabrics. We're gonna have to figure that out. But let's take a look at here. We can make ourselves a gear workbench. That sounds good. Let's make a gear workbench. And the gear workbench can kind of go like back there. There we go. Perfect. Gear workbench, yeah, it looks like the gear workbench is gonna allow us to make a deagle. Alright. Now, uh, if we have one plastic, we can make ourselves a nail gun. It appears as though we are going to need, like, bullets for the nail gun. Yeah, so we're going to have to make ammunition and stuff, too. That does imply that at some point, we will more than likely be doing some kind of combat. I'm going to keep the steel rocking over here. What's going on right here on this side? That's still... Still working on stone. Alright. 
crush up some junk wood just because like oh well both those are working on junk wood well never mind then I guess I'm just bad at my job I don't think it's gonna let me change the recipe until I take that out of there yeah there we go we got five plastic so we're getting closer to a pistol but we're not there yet um, I think we're gonna need to make I need seven plastic in order to make that chest and three iron and we're just not there yet and I definitely want the 30 spots like having the 30 slots that we can put that in would be amazing uh, what else am I sitting on right now so I'm sitting on a ton of steel so let's go ahead and crush up some steel real fast sitting on fabric too but the fabric is not as immediately useful as just about everything else uh, so we'll just let that smelt um, let's go down south I want to see what the neighboring zone looks like and what kind of hostile threats are there yeah so it looks like there's zone transitions from what I can tell like it gives you like a little load screen when you go in between stuff I'm just looking for bad guys that's the last thing I want to check on is like what is the combat gonna look like when we go into this game like what is our motivation to be building all of the stuff that we're building up there at our main camp if there's not gonna be some kind of challenge or reward or sort of something to recover or gain from taking the time and the risk oh yeah it looks like there's a dude running around who's got like a gun okay are they hostile we can go find out I guess they look kind of hostile not gonna lie that animations a little 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 weak for combat a little weak that guy trying to run up on me with a propane tank he was it was like a suicide bomber propane tank all right well there you go we now know that there is indeed combat uh, this is wasted world it's currently an early access so anything you see today there is a pretty good chance that it's gonna be modified along the way or maybe get prettier it's a good ch it's a good chance that since this game just came out a lot of things are placeholders in it as well until the development team or the developer or whatever has time to you know line up the different people that are going to create the art assets this may just be a first pass at things I was there for the early days of rust so I know how that goes my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Wasted World, which clocks in at $20 right now on Steam. You can purchase it down below at the link that I will have for you. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do it. Take care, everybody. I'll have something hot and fresh for you at the Indie Skillet tomorrow.